let's look at another type of double replacement reaction. We've already made solids. That was a precipitation reaction. We did some acid-base reactions, and we got uh, a liquid. We made liquid water. Now let's look what happens when you have some gas-forming reactions. Uh, if you have carbonate or bicarbonate as the acid, uh, that's, or when that's reacting with an acid, um, you'll end up with a product that's unstable, uh, something like carbonic acid, and that's going to decompose when you put it in water and you'll make some carbon dioxide gas. So let's look at this, let's write out this reaction. So suppose you had something like calcium carbonate. That's a solid. And you dropped a little bit of acid on there. Maybe some HCl. You would, what would you expect to happen? So you would have calcium here, right? Calcium has a plus two ion, and carbonate is CO3, two minus, H plus, and Cl minus. And now, if we just did a regular double replacement reaction, we'd have calcium on this side, H plus over here, right? And then they'd switch places, the anions would switch places. I have chloride, and then I'd have CO3, two minus. And when you crisscross applesauce, you get. CaCl2 and H2CO3, the carbonate ion. And then if you want to balance this up, you would just put a 2 over here, and that's aqueous. Um, and chlorides are usually, remember the solubility rules, chlorides are usually soluble except with silver, lead, and mercury. Now, the trick is this guy is not very stable, so he actually breaks down further into carbon dioxide and water. And that's just one of those, you, you wouldn't know that just by looking at it. That's This is an exception to any kind of rule. So um, whenever you make this carbonic acid, or make it, it's a product, in your in water, it's going to dissociate into, um, it's going to break down into carbon dioxide gas and liquid water. So your final reaction here uh, looks like calcium carbonate, which is a solid, um, hydrochloric acid, making calcium chloride, which is aqueous, and you have carbon dioxide and water, which is a liquid. If you wanted to write the net ionic equation for this, you know, the solid stays together. This guy is a strong acid, it's a strong electrolyte, that'll dissociate. This is a soluble ionic compound, so that's um, a strong electrolyte, that'll dissociate. Gases stay together, liquids stay together, solids stay together, so not much really breaks, breaks down here. I'd have calcium carbonate, 2, H plus 2, Cl minus. Those are both aqueous. And then you get calcium, oh, sorry. That's a strong electrolyte. That's going to dissociate into ions. 2, Cl minus. Also aqueous carbon dioxide. And some water. And... Your chlorides cancel, and then the rest of that is your uh, net ionic. Uh, so, so that's what happens with um, carbonate. You can see the same thing would happen with the bicarbonate, which is just HCO. This is not one that I asked you to memorize, but HCO3 minus the bicarbonate ion. Um, so if that reacted with you know, hydrobromic acid, similar type of thing would, would happen. You would have ended up with NABR. And then you get this like H2CO3 again, which will dissociate into water and carbon dioxide. It doesn't matter what order you put those in. Um, so basically you don't get that product, but you'll get these instead. Uh, very similar to what happens with the carbonate and the bicarbonates. Same thing happens with um, the sulfate, sulfite ion, right? That's SO3, two minus. Uh, so if you had something like strontium sulfite reacting with HI. Let's again look at this, break this one down a little bit more than I did for the bicarbonate. Um, SO3 2 minus. I'm just splitting it up into ions and then I'm going to write my reaction over here. Switch places and SO3 2 minus crisscross SRI2 H2SO3. Now this is the guy that's unstable. How do you know that? I'm just telling you now. <laughs> this one 
and um, what do you think the other product would be? So before we had the carbonate ion, which was H2CO3, we got water and carbon dioxide. Now H2SO3, we get water and sulfur dioxide. Gas. And so balance that, because we have two I's, two H's, and then your final looks like this. That's a strong acid. SO2 and H2O liquid. Wow, it's messy. All right, that's your final. If you want to split that up into the net ionic equation, this guy would dissociate and um, this one would dissociate, just like the other ones, just like the, the last example. So you can split that up and cancel things through the same on both sides. So those are just two exceptions to you know double replacement reactions uh, where you may form you're forming gases here. So you're forming a product that's unstable in the water and it dissociates um, further. So you get water liquid and some kind of gas. So you should know those those three examples. Know the um, whenever you're making a um, carbonic acid. Um, you know, if you're going to end up with the H2CO3, so that happens when you have the carbonate or the bicarbonate ion, and then also be careful with the sulfite ion.